Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another exploration rover, and this one is called the RCL Ox Mobile Explorer Rover, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small, well-armed rover, which even features a teeny tiny interior for you to go inside. We've got assemblies, we've got a survival kit, and a fairly large container for you to store everything you need and to go out and survive for a nice long time. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 258 large blocks, using no DLC blocks, no DLC skins, no modded blocks, and no scripts. So there we go. But what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go for a look of the interior, and it will be a very quick look at that. Then we'll drive it around for a bit, and see what we can do on the Mars-like surface. So at the very front, this is what we get. We have a rocket launcher with a window block sitting on top of it. That window block will not get in the way of those rockets when you try to fire it. The rockets will simply phase straight through, so it's purely there for decoration. Just below that, we've got an unfinished block with a camera on it. That camera is going to be the only way we're going to be able to view forwards in first person, because the cockpit is hidden away inside. If you pull away from there and start to move around the side, we're going to see a couple of interior lights just to light up the side of the vehicle, and we'll start to see many interior turrets. We've got a big Gatling gun on the very top there just to help with those pesky drones. And as we move along the side here, we've got ourselves an antenna, so we always know where the vehicle is, and we'll see our nice big wheels that keep us nice and raised off the ground. If I was just to come down here very quickly, our suspension is dangerously close to the ground, but luckily there's no collision with that, and there's no risk of you ever going clang because of it. Even if you were to hold down X to do a jump, there is no risk of that ever getting damaged. Coming out of there and continuing around the side, we will go underneath and see the entrance a bit later. Yes, moving all the way around to here, there's another interior turret, some more interior lights. And then towards the back, we've got ourselves a connector to load goods or unload, or even just to dock this thing up once we're done with it. Another camera to help us reverse this thing up and see what's coming up behind us. So coming up and above, we're going to see our Gatling gun sitting on top, as well as a few LCD screens, which will display our faction logo. But I'm not currently in a faction, so it's displaying nothing. We can see the tops of our interior turrets right there, and we can see the tops of our assembler over there. Then moving all the way to the front, more interior turrets, and another LCD screen for our faction logo. Coming down and underneath, we're going to see our scary suspension right there, as well as a battery, as well as another interior turret. We can see ourselves a gyroscope on our right hand side, which is where that Gatling gun on the left hand side is sitting. And right over here is our doorway to get in and out. We'll come back to that a bit later. Then just moving all the way over to here, that is that to the outside. So getting into my character, we can now go and head along over to the doorway and go inside. So opening up the doorway and using our jetpack, we can just hop all the way up to here, close up the door behind us. Now get ready for this. There is our interior, where we have a lone chair for us to sit on, or for your passenger to sit on when you're going for a voyage. Behind us is of course our survival kit, which we will use to refine stone and all that and heal up, respawn on. And we've got access to our cockpit right here. Yes, we've got a little chair to sit on if we wanted to. Getting into the cockpit, this is what it looks like from a first person view. So we're not going to be able to see too much and we are heavily reliant on those cameras for our forwards and backwards. Would have probably been nice to have had a backup camera, because if that ever got damaged you're going to be blind while driving this thing. Never mind, eh? Yes, as for our cockpit setup, this is what we get. Number one is going to be to fire our rocket launcher, and there we go, it's going safely through that window block. Number two is going to be manual control for our top Gatling guns. We just fire that around if we wanted to. Coming out of that and pressing number three, that'll be to turn off all the turrets around the ship, just in case you don't want to blow up something you want to salvage. Number four and number five is for our cameras for the front and the rear. Coming out of that and pressing number six is for our battery to auto or recharge, seven for our hydrogen engine to turn it on and off, eight for our antenna on and off, and number 9 is for our ore detector, which is sitting on the side next to our spotlight, which I do believe I missed out when going around on the side. And tab number 2 and 3 is empty, so it's time to drive this thing around. Undoing the parking brakes and going forwards, this is what we get. We can see a little bit out of there, so we do have some kind of navigation at least from the first person view. 
Yes, driving this around, we sort of cap out at about 35 meters per second, so we are nice and safe while traveling around, and there's no risk of this accidentally blowing up, going over a slight bump. Holding down X and going for a little jump. Here we go. There we are. No risk of that suspension ever taking damage, despite it being scraped along the ground, like so. We do have our gyroscope on here, so we've got some mouse controls while going over a hefty jump. And here we go, I've just spawned in a small little pod for this thing to shoot. The Gatling gun is currently not firing, but the interior turrets are doing some great work at just shredding this thing apart. It's just slowly ripping it block from block, there is fire everywhere. There's a nice explosion. So yes, it's not too powerful despite having that many turrets on there, but it's good enough to deter the odd little drone that comes near you. Now I have no idea where this is going off to, but it looks like it is finished. But anyway, that is it for the Mobile Explorer Rover. It's a very nice little vehicle for you to play around with. It's got everything you need to survive, and there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do want to check it out. So thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.